In this edition of AMD Support Unprocessed, we'll be looking at how an incorrectly specified power supply could cause system crashes and system instability. And we'll also be looking at how to troubleshoot if this is the case. So if you're suffering from any of the following symptoms that are coming up on the screen, then it could be related to your power supply. However, this may not always be the case, but in our experience, the power supply is the main cause of these issues. So before we go any further, let's explain what a power supply is and how it can affect your system. The power supply on your system converts the local mains power down to lower voltages such as uh, 12 volts, 5 volts and 3 volts, which is what all the components inside the system run at. Now let's see how the power supply can affect your system. In this example, we can see a system with a small power supply and a power supply requirements meter on the screen. You can see here that the system is running fine, we're browsing the internet and looking at the amd.com website, but as soon as we begin to play an intense 3D game, the system crashes into a blue screen and you can see that the power requirements meter is going into the red zone. So now watch what happens when we swap out to a high capacity power supply. As we now have more available power, as you can see by the change in the power meter, this time when we run the intense 3D game, everything's running fine and the power requirements meter is not going into the red zone. Other things that can affect your power supply are upgrades, such as processor upgrades or graphic card upgrades. In this example, we can see a system with a small power supply and the same power requirements meter on the screen. Everything's running fine, we're browsing the internet looking at the AMD website again, but when we upgrade to a new graphic card and we try to start the system up, we can see that the power requirements meter goes into the red zone and the system crashes with a blue screen. And again, watch what happens when we swap out to a higher capacity power supply. We now have more available power as the power meter has changed. And this time when we switch the system on, it boots up and runs fine and the power requirements meter doesn't go into the red zone. So now let's do some basic troubleshooting on our power supply. First thing to check if your system doesn't power up is to check if the power supply is actually working properly. So you can do this just by looking at the power supply to see if the fans within the power supply are actually running round or spinning. If they're not spinning then this could well indicate that the power supply is actually faulty. However if the fans are running then the power supply may not be running the correct voltages on the correct rails and you may need to get it tested by a qualified computer technician. If you've recently upgraded your system with a new processor or graphic card and now it's not working, you could try to remove the recently added component and replace it with a previous one you were using and now check to see if the system is running stable. If it is running stable, then maybe your current power supply doesn't have enough power to run your system. This is the same as we showed you in the previous example. So what we do now is we now give you an example of how to determine your system power requirements. So the first step here is to get a detailed list of your system specifications. So you can do this by either looking through the Windows Device Manager or maybe running a third party tool such as uh, Bellarc Reports. So you can see here our system specification list that we got from a Bellarc system report. What we'll do now is we'll now go online and we'll search for Power Supply Calculator. And now we've got a list of results. So we just select one of these here and we now begin to fill out the form with all our system details. And now at the end of the form, we get a recommended power supply wattage or rating for our system. So we just now need to compare this to what we currently have in our system. So there should be a label on the side of your power supply which states the manufacturer, the model number, and of course the, the power supply rating itself. So in our case here, you can see that the recommended power supply is above our current power supply rating. So if you need a new higher power power supply, we would always recommend that you review the AMD certified power supply list, which is online here. You can use this list to select a new power supply which matches your system requirements. We have seen that a power supply can greatly affect your system if incorrectly specified and how important it is to make sure that your power supply meets your system requirements. We hope this video helps you with preventing or solving possible power supply related problems.